Hello everyone, this is Chin Chin. Welcome back to our channel. And if you have tuned this video, that means you need to know whether A72 in 2023 is worth it or not. Correct? So I guess I will be able to answer few of your questions, if not all. So please, if I have answered few of your questions or any of your questions, do leave a comment in the comment section below and hit the like button. Okay. So let me just uh, give a brief intro about this camera that I have been using this camera from 2019 October and since then I have used it for every purpose be it uh, a landscape, be it portrait or be it uh, you know an event photography. So I have uh, clicked many pictures with this camera and I have used mostly 70 to 200. Tamron lens and 24 to 70 G master lens Sony okay so if you want to uh, go through all of my pictures which I have clicked uh, you know with this camera then I will highly recommend that you try to uh, click this uh, link in the description box below where I will be putting my Instagram page link and I am there in Vero also so Vero social app for photographers so that is a good nice app if you don't know then you should definitely sign it up that app is really nice without any you know uh, algorithm so anyway now coming back to the topic sony a7 ii so sony a7 ii is a very very nice purchase and this has been a one of the best purchases in my life purchases in my life because i got this camera at an unreal unbelievable price you know i bought this camera uh, in a price of a crop body camera you know sony e uh, sony zv e10 currently i'm shooting in sony zv e10 and i have bought this camera at the same price of sony zv e10 so now you can understand so what kind of deal i got in this camera okay there are few drawbacks because this is a 2014 model i have purchased it in 2019 so yes this camera has few bugs i will definitely go through all this so first i will start with the positives so i have marked few points or i have you know uh, noted down few points if i forget in case so first point will be price that's the number one positive you know you will get you will be getting this camera at a very high discount if you are trying to purchase new and if you are trying to purchase old camera or used then definitely much lesser than Sony ZV-10 also maybe 500 600 dollars not more than that so price is a very very attractive thing for this camera very good pricing you will be getting for this camera and I guess this is perhaps the best full frame camera if you are new into photography or best full frame camera for beginners because in this price you will not be getting any full frame camera with this kind of capabilities okay so the second uh, point will be image quality so let me just go through my lightroom and i will definitely show you few of the pictures which i have clicked and i will show you and i will tell you in detail so now we are uh, in my lightroom setup so now i would like to show you the photo quality and image quality of sony a7 ii here you can see at the bottom there are you know many pictures in the library but uh, i will show you few of them uh, among which this is one of uh, the my favorite pictures you know of this uh, diwali so this uh, was taken by me uh, you know uh, at diwali 2022 so it it has been uh, taken in complete uh, you know uh, absence of light only these candles were you know, there and as you can see quite clear the detailing are quite clear hopefully you are getting quick develop if I go to develop then you can see here I have you know already edited the photo and if I completely remove the noise reduction you can see there is a bit of noise so this is the actual uh, image uh, without noise reduction and if I apply the noise reduction 
then you can see this is the final outcome so very nice picture you can see beautiful detailing and I have zoomed a quite uh, you know a lot so very nice again this was a c in completely low light I will show you another one which was taken in bright sunlight so this was taken completely in a bright sunlight uh, you know in holy 2023 and I haven't used any ND filters as such for this shot this was a completely natural shot which I have taken you can see the detailing here also noise reduction has been already applied I will just remove it so this was the actual photo you can see very very nice detailing so beautiful detailing here also you can see very nice detailing so the image quality is unmatched it's it's phenomenal the image quality is phenomenal you can see and you can see uh, the shutter speed also which I have you know taken one shot uh, see I have you know uh, taken this shot with Sony a7 II. Sony a7 II only has 5 FPS you know that too also in compressed raw but still this is a very nice image uh, you know which I think you can definitely share your feedback in the comment section below here there is a slight softness in the you know focus but yeah you have to consider that it's a candid shot definitely so it really enhances the mood and here also noise reduction has been applied if I remove the noise reduction you can see there's a bit of detailing also and now I will apply the noise reduction so yes so beautiful image uh, very nice image quality here another here is another one again if I remove the noise reduction you can see the clarity and the detailing every colors is so natural so beautiful sensor uh, there is no complaint absolutely no complaint about the sensor and uh, it doesn't feel old you know it's a 2014 camera and now we are at 2023 it's almost 10 years but still the sensor is so so fresh it really competes with the high-end cameras in terms of picture quality and definitely high-end uh, DSLRs also like Sony uh, Sony Alpha series or maybe Canon 5D Mark 3 Mark 4 also it can definitely compete with uh, you know Canon 5D Mark 4 in terms of image quality and you know shooting performance so here you can see there's a very sharp images taken uh, you know by this camera so yes so now let's move on to the next point so now that you have seen the image quality of this camera and I have sh uh, you know shown you in my Lightroom setup so the image quality is unbeatable like in this price range and the funny part is this has the same sensor which Sony A7 Mark III also uses so the camera has the same in body stabilization the camera has the same sensor just the auto focusing system has been changed in, OC, uh, in Sony A7 III so this is the same sensor you are getting which means same image quality okay third point will be ibis so in this price range one you are getting a mirrorless camera two you are getting a very nice high resolution sensor 24.3 megapixel and with the very very nice in body image stabilization so if your lens doesn't have an in uh, you know stabilization system no worries your sensor has it so in low light uh, conditions definitely it helps i have seen uh, not uh, like sony markets like uh, not five stops i one or two stops is quite good above them uh, more than that i don't see it's working so you can go up to two stops the ibis works and really helpful so that's them and uh, fourth point is high dynamic range the sensor has a really nice dynamic range 14 stops of dynamic range which means any underexposed photos you can definitely edit or 
you know calibrate like you want so that's a really really nice thing and just imagine you are getting this camera only at around 600 700 bucks and this camera has a beautiful image quality with very high dynamic range okay and fifth point is the camera is really really lightweight the camera is really lightweight like how will i make you understand you know uh, through the camera the camera is really lightweight with the full body magnesium alloy okay the full body of this camera is made from magnesium alloy which means it's a very sturdy camera very nice to hold it gives a pro feeling you know very high end cameras like 5d mark 2 those are very heavy so this full frame camera is very lightweight easy to carry and you can travel you know around with this camera like you are carrying nothing and with this kind of lightweight lens this is a 16 to 35 g lens with uh, power zoom so this is again a very light weight lens paired with this camera beautiful but there are negatives also with this camera so now i will go through the negatives so number one negative that is okay i know that you know already yes because this is the main drawback of this camera which is the battery the battery backup is horrible you need to carry like five six sets of batteries if you want to cover any events i myself has three set of batteries and it is not enough you know i have this power bank thing so once i use one battery is drained up then i immediately gave it for charging and i start using another so i have managed you know uh, these days with three batteries but if you want to cover any wedding or something like that definitely carry more than five six batteries okay battery backup is really a very negative thing for this camera you know it sucks up all the juice really fast okay and second negative is yeah okay fine uh, it's a 2014 release right you don't expect uh, like an autofocus like a7 IV if you want or if you expect then spend 2500 dollars but in this price range 600 uh, or 700 dollars if you're purchasing this camera definitely there's no point to complain but yes then also i will just put it as a negative because the autofocus system is really slow you are getting limited options in autofocus the area is also smaller than a7 III and third and the biggest flaw in 2023 that is in the era of hybrid cameras this camera really feels aged that's because this camera has no 4k video recording sadly yes this camera has no 4k recording only full hd so a very slow autofocus combined with full hd recording is not enough for professional use at least in 2023 this camera i will suggest you should buy only if you do still imaging if you only like to shoot photos or as a backup camera for your uh, you know uh, wedding uh, project for still images definitely you can get this this has an excellent uh, image quality but in video it really lags behind really in 2023 and i already mentioned that this uh, camera has a really slow autofocus so fifth negative point is this camera is not getting any firmware update post 2020 yeah. for the last three years this camera has not received any firmware update as such from sony can you believe it this is really not done sony this camera has a really nice bionz x processor which is really powerful so definitely your latest firmware you know if you tune it for a7 II, definitely it can run at least it could have increased battery life if i'm wrong you can mention in the comment section below but this camera deserves you know at least one firmware update one more firmware update which can enhance battery life by this much okay 
so there has been no firmware update since 2020 yeah there's no flippy screen uh, the next negative is because in the age of you know hybrid cameras and vlogging so flippy screen is a must so yes this camera has no flippy screen so this is just tilt adjust so yeah it's like a7 III it has no flippy screen so you cannot use this camera for vlogging purpose and seven seventh negative point is no touch screen as well this camera has no touch screen so you cannot touch like any canon camera you cannot touch by focus like in a7 IV you can here is my a7 IV I can actually use it uh, you know a touch to focus so this camera does not have it yeah I can live with it you know I don't need that I don't need that trust me but it's a point I would like to mention in 2023 that's it but I can live with it that's really not an issue touch to fo uh, touch focus yeah number eight is uh, old menu system yeah I think uh, with the latest firmware update they could have changed the menu system at least don't you think so it can be done it can be done right I'm not wrong because every cell phone company does that you know Samsung does that every year they change their UI in the old uh, cell phones also if a cell phone can receive a firmware update for three or four years why can't a camera receive you know so anyway it's not like that okay, from 2014 you know Sony has released every new firmware update every year no this camera has really really limited you know firmware update history so and uh, ninth uh, negative point is this camera does not support UHS2 uh, you know memory cards I don't know why but this camera does not receive you know UHS2 memory cards and because I am speaking about uh, I am talking about memory card let me remind you this camera has only one memory card slot if you are a professional and if you are looking for two cameras uh, you know memory card slots so this can be a deal breaker for you this camera only has a single memory card slot okay so that's it UHS2 not supported but this camera has really really nice sensor you can see I have maintained this camera really nicely you can see the sensor it's clean so really nice so coming back to the topic again and coming back to the question I have mentioned all the positives and the negatives right so do you think that this camera is worth it in 2023 after listening to my points which I have mentioned mm. yes definitely a yes for me if you think the same way do leave your comments in the comment section below because this camera in 600 700 dollars is a steel deal no other camera in this price range can match the image quality which this camera is capable of producing this camera has 14 stops of dynamic range can you believe it in this price range you are getting a cam full frame camera in the price of a crop crop sensor camera so what more do you need this can be your secondary camera if you are professional definitely this can be your secondary camera you can use it as a primary camera as well but always carry extra batteries for that and definitely a no-no for sports photographers because the autofocus is very slow so not for sports photographer but definitely wedding photographers can use it because this camera has 5 fps and i do remember that when i was using dslrs so 5 6 fps camera used to produce really really nice images in every wedding you know uh, so wedding photographers are actually habituated using this uh, you know fps 5 fps is quite good enough it's not one or two it's 5 fps quite good enough but yeah okay fine a7 III has 10 fps a7 IV has 10 fps and it shifts more resolution in 10 fps it shifts 33 megapixel in 10 fps so it has a smart uh, you know faster shutter speed but 5 fps is good enough and this camera i am really happy this is very lightweight and yes this camera 
is still worth it and definitely definitely recommend it for beginners this can be your first full frame camera and this camera beats any canon camera within you know 2000 rupee price uh, 2000 dollar price range hands down yes this camera can beat in terms of image quality any canon and canon camera within you know 2000 dollars this camera costs only 6 seven, uh, 600 700 dollars it will beat any canon camera in image quality hands down any day so hopefully you got a uh, you know a uh, few answers of your questions and if you haven't got any of the answer please do uh, comment your question which i haven't answered and definitely i will try to make another video based on that and hit the like button if you really like today's video and next video will be about a7 II versus a7 IV coming soon so subscribe peace out